See, this is where we find out where that dude ain't who he said he was. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that by the beat? Bro. Oh my god. Put the matches down. Turn the light off. <sighs> we gonna wake up with somebody in our face. What's going on MTG Squad and welcome back to Fierce to Fathom Episode 4 Iron Bark Lookout. Now I don't know what happened last episode. It was just kind of like I went outside. I thought I was doing everything right. I had my pepper. Bro, I had my bear spray ready. I was ready to just spray this man down head to toe. But we back in here. I don't know if this is going to be the dub episode or not. Yup. He's peeping. This man. Look at him. I'm feeling brave. Look at you. Look at him. Oh. Man setting this thing up. What is he? Cur Man putting a curse down on the ground. Okay, maybe maybe we got caught cuz I had the flashlight last time. Okay. All right. Okay, contact Connor. Contact Connor. Connor? Connor? Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There is something outside my door. No, we cannot wait. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. No, I don't think these kids are messing around. It's, it's a real ritual, man. Dude. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, For Connor. Now, just lock your door. Take a deep breath. And try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Dude, that's not how it works. Try to get some sleep, Jack. That's not how it works. Connor didn't make any sense. Oh! <laughs> <coughs> what if Connor is on it? In on it? What if Connor got something to do with this whole spiel? What if... No. He's been hitting me up since day one. There every period. And he told me to go check out that campsite when I think he could have himself. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. See, Connor, but there's something about that night that just felt darker there is something strange happening in those woods trust your gut guys trust your gut all right 8 34 p.m it read brother dirty by scanning the woods uh by or scanning the densities of all trees around me my paranoia for the woods only grew last after last night which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward and yeah bro how did they get so dirty we barely used them Hello? That's an emergency. Hello? Oh. I need help. Hello? Please, someone answer. Yup, yup, yup. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I hear uh, you loud and clear. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Real quick, I didn't want to identify myself because I don't know who we working with real quick. Even though, real life, you're supposed, I'm sure you're supposed to identify yourself. Uh, take okay, a deep okay. breath. What's the I, situation? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. That's where you messed up. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. <clears throat> Dang. I think, I think I'm lost. Huh. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What equipment do you have with you? What equipment? I have a flashlight, a compass, <coughs> a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Okay. What's your current uh, I'm location? I'm in the middle of the woods. On this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Okay. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Okay. Well, I did see All them. I did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. True, true, true. What direction are you I'm facing? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Do you remember any I, landmarks? I remember passing a small stream earlier. Streams. Were we were we over there before? Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail 
or the left to get back to the trailhead. Oh, the game is testing us. We should have paid attention to the map more. But then what if we leave and then we just hear him scream? Okay, go left. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Was that, that was actually correct? Yeah. Hello? I'm right here. What do you I mean? Hear you. I hear your whistles. No, 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 no. No, that's what? not me. That's not me. You freaking me out. No, no, son of a gun. Where's my where's my bear spray? Throw it down. Okay, that looks like a person. Boy, I was about to spray you. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Holy moly, why didn't you identify yourself? Okay, he got Tower 11 supplies. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you do? What were you up to, pal? At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. No, for real, for that lost hiker. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual es uh, essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Bro. Honest? Why are you staring like that? Back up. What were you doing here there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? Wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. Why does he keep saying that? Didn't he say that last time? You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Why it look like you're one of them? Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Everything all right? Uh, do I trust this guy? Just get getting used to the new environment. What? Bro, the grammar of this whole game has been a little off. All right, let's just tell him. Let's just tell him. Say something. Oh Lord, have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Uh, I didn't think about it. You know it's best if we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Hey man, you be safe, please. Cause you almost got bear sprayed by me. Confirmed, he's not making it tonight. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Oh, we can heat, yeah, reheat that. Wait, put it in. <laughs> oh, uh, it won't, it won't hit bro. It ain't gonna be that good. I'm gonna do some nightly routine stuff. Whoa, 25 knots. Wow, it's really picking up. 56.9 degrees. Temperature is steadily decreasing actually. 56.9 56.9 25 knots uh number of hikers assisted well, okay we did assist one and then uh, reported by yours truly guys bro it's officially wind this night yes about time we got that right there's more people missing we're swell how come he ain't report actually let's try to contact him can't, can't do that, I guess. Only thing is to eat. I like eating in bed. Yeah, we know you do. Freaking whole casserole in bed. Dispose of it. Turn on your water. Wash your dishes. The two cups and a plate and a spoon, I swear, has been in there, like, since you got here. So those weren't even your dishes. Thought I'd get wood stove lit. Bro, why do you never bring wood up here during the day? What a schmuck. Hot. Yeah, might as well close these down now. Because we already know what he's going to say. Oh, I can't go to sleep without these closed down. So, I'm going to go ahead and handle them now. Let me relax. I'm like sitting off up and forward. I'm all uptight, man. This game. This game got me acting up. When that thing attacked us, it had a mask on. I don't know how effective the bear spray actually would be. Oh! 
if you don't get your Hank Hill beer belly, you couldn't say, excuse me? You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the, the mind play tricks on you. How is it a trick of you not saying, excuse me, or announcing yourself? Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. I think they meant to say, thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Uh, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reaches the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right. We relay information about fire, fire sightings. I agree. Fire risks are high this season. I like the first one. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. Nah, you you sound like you could have been the one putting the demonic crap in front of the door. I should head back to the tower now. It's getting late. I'll yeah, I'll see you around. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember, bro, what is this man about to tell me to remember? Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. What do you mean by that? Farewell, Jack. Boy, if you don't get your... The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. He's not even taking a trail. Man walking off like he won with nature. What? What's going on here? And that tower was quite a ways away, I think. That communication tower? I don't think that was close. Yeah, it was right there. Why he walk over there? What? What's over there? I mean, it's actually fairly close, come to think of it. Hold on. Is that an axe? Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that. Hello? The game never gives you what you, like, what you need. They get, no, no. The game gives you what you, what it wants to. There's smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. Bro, I'm not new guy anymore. You have been hitting my lineup every day. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone. You copy now. This is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Why? Uh, ran into, ran into Salas. See, this is where we find out where that dude ain't who he said he was. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that by the beat? The guy maintaining the nearby towers. Is this about yesterday? What? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. See? See? It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. We the already knew. Was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Look, then who did I just talk to? Is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Why are there so many goons playing pranks on me? Do he knew my name. Mm-hmm. You think he's been listening? Possibly. Anyway, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. It don't mean you can't do it, though. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. <clears throat> Anyways. Seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Alright. Night 12. Connor. Signing off. Over and out. <clears throat> Bro. Oh my god. Put the matches down. Turn the light off. <sighs> We're gonna wake up with somebody in our face. <laughs> oh. My ease was starting to grow with each day. What the heck? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So I signed off that night. I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get, that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later, 9.18 p.m. Whoa. Guy, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Okay. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snooping. All right. Like Thanks for letting me know. How do I update the computer? Thanks. For I got this. Let's see. Oh man. Well, to be honest with you, all this <clears throat> new technology—it's not really my thing. Dare I say it? These computers are probably going to. Take 
take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Update package code. What code is that? Oh, 4346084. 4, and 4. It didn't say anything about active line. 5416. No! Oh, these are the busy lines. Oh, 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 oh. so you have to take 5487. <clears throat> All right. Oh, wow. Power was out. Well, yeah, I can see that now. Where my bear spray? Yo, oh, go ahead. Hey, who messing with my generator down here? We about to get snatched up for real. Oh. I didn't bring a flashlight, but we chilling. Oh my gosh. All right, it's all right, it's all right. Oh, I thought there was something right there. My bad, y'all, my bad. I didn't mean to scare you. Fill it up. Go upstairs, go upstairs. Bro, you can pee from upstairs. Oh my, bro, close the door. Bro, the mic. I'm gonna switch my headphones to these, but the only thing is I've been trying to repair the, the ear muffs on here. What we gonna do is we gonna kind of just put it on like that and y'all just gonna have to bear with me, please. But I really just want to use the mic setting. Is it, is it working? Okay, just go. Do, do. Uh-huh. Transition? A oh, week, bro, what is, what is wrong with, why are we jumping so much? Time was flying by. Connor's generation, wait, generation? Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Man, slowly going crazy. It was 2.34. Oh my gosh. Sorry, we got another one. What? Jack. Somebody, somebody pass Jack. away. I need you to wake up. <sighs> Connor, relax. You copy? Yes. But I was, I was just unconscious a second ago. Let me, let me get up. Jack, you copy? Yep. Okay, I'm still here. Tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. Okay. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Mm-hmm. And what is that? More smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? I'm even volunteering. I said, let me have a look. What? We all know where this is leading. What? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. We don't let you deal with this one. Since when did you ever deal with it, Connor? Do you recall last time? Connor? It's not that easy, bro. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. How about I call you? Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. <sighs> Tell my update me tomorrow, or I'm gonna get some rest. Bro, why are you get to sleep in? You don't think I want to? Hold on, first? Where is this smoke you're talking about? Oh. I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Oh, shoot. Okay, wa watch your left. Uh, right, bro. <gasps> no! No, no. Oh my god, wait. Oh. Dang! He got over here quick. Um, quick thinking, Anthony. Where do I hide? Can I hide? Oh, I can hide. I can. Can my mic? Can my mic pick up on anything? Bruh, my mic can't pick up on anything. When? When should I try to dip? I had to make a run. Oh, 
Wait, my sideways method. My sideways method. My sideways method. Go, go, go. He's behind me. <laughs> my sideways method isn't working. I think where we're supposed to go is the the porter potty. That's the only logical place I can think of going. Bro, my mic is working. Okay. So Bro, how are you not hearing me? I'm under the bed. You're gonna be right there. Huh? He's like, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hop in there. Huh? What? <laughs> Crap. Huh? I was closing the door. Okay, I really hope my camera battery don't die. It is like on low, low right now. Perfect. Where do we go? Bro, if we run into somebody else, I swear. Three hours. Is that it, bro? Tell me that's it. Tell me that's freaking it, bro. Dang. There's more? Bro, I don't have enough camera battery. Go, go. I don't, bro. Keep. Okay, go, 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 go. There's my car. We're right there. We're right there. We're right there. We're home. We're home. Close the door. Get in. Get in. Go, go, go. The, as adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran in a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch said. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. That's it, right? No! The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Hey, facts though. Facts though. Let's go! Survive! My camera battery survived. That's who really survived. Oh, Jack Septica was in here? I know I heard his voice. I gotta say, they never disappoint. Never. Fears of Fathom 1, 2, 3, 4, and we still waiting on 5. Four of them have yet to disappoint. What a thrill, what a kind of, it, it just puts you in the environment. You know what I mean? Like all the sounds, all the suspense. Man, always a pleasure to play the Fears of Fathom. I was excited when I saw this one came out and I knew I needed to play it. So I went ahead, got it, you know, downloaded some stuff and then well, now here we are, three hours and 20 minutes in of uh, this recording. <laughs> what time is it? Bro, it is 2.33 a.m. I need to go to bed. Um, as it said at the end, whenever you go camping, be safe. Yeah, you just never know what could be out there. Yeah, I could be out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know but all right you guys thank you for joining me for this playthrough of fierce to fathom iron bark lookout if you guys enjoy be sure to that like button and for all the newcomers be sure to subscribe to join the mtg squad today and ladies and gentlemen without further ado i have nothing more to say again thank you for joining me and thank you for hanging out with me i will see you in the next video peace out mtg squad